so this is kind of another update on custom charging my 20 volt max Dewalt batteries. Um, it's not really an update on that part. What I have been researching and trying to figure out is an alternative to uh, these batteries. Everyone knows they're pretty expensive, and if you you know buy a tool, usually it's about the best deal to get a new battery and a charger with it. But I was looking for something uh, a little bit different, I guess. And uh, what I ended up doing or figuring out is uh, I took uh, this battery apart. It was a refurbished 20 volt max battery, so I think it had new battery cells in it. I took it apart, took the batteries out of it, and soldered on my own uh, plug adapter. It's a Traxxas style connector, and then it has a, a balance plug too. So the reason I did that is because I got this battery here. Uh, it's a Zippy 3000. That's the amp hour. It's a 3 amp hour high discharge LiPo battery 20C series. The 20C is the current discharge rate so it'll do 20 times the current which is 3 amps so 20 times 3 is 60 amp. It'll flow 60 amp continuously and uh, it might surge uh, a 30C so it might actually surge quite a bit higher. It might almost do 100 amps uh, which is pretty substantial and the reason I went with this pack, it's a soft cell pack, and it's basically for like a, a quadcopter or a helicopter or an RC car, basically what it is. And that's, I've had it for a while, but I think at the time I bought it, it was about 20 bucks, and I had to solder on my own connector, of course, I had a different connector, and I used Traxxas style connectors. So, after putting my own connections on this, now I can plug this battery, I put some Velcro on it, so I can plug this battery into this, what well, was a battery, but now it's just an empty case. And these batteries, actually these cases, they have a little chipboard in them that monitors, you know, the individual cells in there, which I didn't know it, would, it was that smart. I thought the drills or the whatever tool you're using kind of did that, but the battery itself will shut off if the battery gets too low or if a cell gets out of balance or something's wrong. So originally I figured I would just plug it in just with the one connector, but after trying that it wouldn't work. So right now, even though it's plugged in, to get the full voltage it won't work. Because it's saying, well, I don't, all the little chipboard doesn't see the individual voltages. So now it's good because you know you can plug this in and now it's saying all right I can see five cells and it'll work the good part is that you don't want to over discharge these batteries like the DeWalt batteries uh, all these lithium batteries don't like to be discharged to a certain threshold the lithium polymer battery that's what this is a lithium polymer as opposed to lithium ion the lithium polymer, they're usually rated not to go below 3 volts per cell. Where a lithium ion might be a little bit less than that. Uh, it's kind of depends on the manufacturer's rating. So, now this will actually shut off when this gets dead, which is good. So you can just basically run it and not have to worry about it. And originally I had just figured I would put my voltage indicator on it. And this will beep when it gets to a certain point, so I figured that was good enough for me. but. This is even better because it's almost dummy proof now. And I know it kind of looks silly to have it like this and velcroed on, it might fall off. But the application I'm probably going to use this most in is uh, my weed eater and the blower, possibly like this grinder if I'm doing some heavy grinding. And the, the main advantage of this battery is that it will do a lot of current, a lot of amperage. As opposed to, you know, these other batteries, I'm sure they will flow pretty close to the same, but I'm, I know for from experience these batteries will flow really, really well. And you can buy them in different current ratings. 
this is a 20 C and it's kind of the lowest or the standard you can get them 30 40 50 C and that just means you know they discharge a lot quicker and I've used I ran it one time in my weed eater and I couldn't really tell a performance difference between the 5 amp it pretty much ran the same but I can tell a difference is when I put it in this grinder or uh, the impact or any of the brushed equipment and I'm thinking mostly that's because of the these lithium polymer batteries are actually charged up a little bit more so when this one's fully charged at 4.2 volts per cell as opposed to 4.1 you know you have a one volt more as opposed to 20 volts you have 21 volts and a volt you know that you may think that's not a big deal one volt but it kind of does help when you're talking low voltages so it and the and the voltage drop when you start pulling on it is a lot better these uh this old three amp pack i've had a long time it works really it worked really good and it's starting you can start to tell it's getting old but it you can still you can tell the performance uh, drop a lot quicker when you're grinding stuff or using the impact you know it, when it starts to get you know discharged it you can really tell the difference where this you probably won't be able to tell the difference it, it'll run you know so much better and that's part of it because it's new but I will do I will try to do or I have done a current test to try to see how many amps these will pull and to my surprise this 5 amp pack you know was pretty close to this and I got this one to pull a few more amps and I was basically trying to stall out the grinder when I was doing it just really working it hard and you can tell by listening to the grinder with this battery it likes it and you know it's running better it has more voltage so that that's part of why it helps you know add extra voltage so the other thing is that you know this is only a three amp pack so this five amp one should last longer according to you know the numbers I haven't put them head to head yet, but according to you know charging this five amp pack, it's actually about a five amp, and this is you know pretty close, if not more than a three amp. They usually are, but the other thing is that I I ended up getting two of them because they're so cheap. So for forty bucks, now it's a little bit clunky, but I can put them on the bottom of, together, and I have a parallel connector that I can hook them up together. So now it's like one big pack. And so now I just made a six amp pack, and so now you'll get, you know, should get more runtime if you're after the runtime. Of course, I can only plug in one balance port, but that should be good enough because uh, these batteries are identical and should be cell matched and pretty close to the same. So you may be asking yourself, well, why don't do all all the manufacturers use these packs, these lithium polymer packs? As you can see, they're it's a five cell, but they're they uh, there's not a round cell like the 18650s that were in the, these other packs. And the reason they probably don't re use them the most is because these are kind of like a grenade. They're pretty dangerous. If uh, you fully charge one and and hit it with the hammer or puncture it somehow, it could potentially be a huge fireball. And the same with these packs too. That they're lithium as well. But there, the batteries themselves are encased in metal, and I mean, there's a big plastic, and you can get these packs with, in a hard case, which is just a plastic case, which does help a lot in protecting them. But if you're careful, you know, these are a good pack. You just, like you said, you have to be careful. You don't want to be dropping them and stuff. Now, it was kind of a waste to take this battery apart because it was a brand new refurbished battery. But. To, I didn't, the only way I could justify doing it is I ended up getting one of these power banks. These empty, uh, they come as an empty shell, so I kind of going to break it. But what these power banks are is uh, so you can charge your cell phone. You can plug in whatever uh, USB power device you'd like to power, and it's got a little indicator if it's charged. But here's what it looks like on the inside. So here's the batteries themselves that came out of this battery. Your Samsung 18615, 18650s, 13B, which I think the 13 stands for the amp hour, 1.3, and I think I even charged this one up and measured it and wrote down it's 1291, so that's really close to what the manufacturer rating is. And so that's one uh, perk, you know, people have done this all the time with laptop batteries, so it's kind of nice to have a power bank for your cell phone or whatnot. 
So, in the future, I, I might be getting a couple more of these batteries, depending on when you start thinking about replacing your 20 volt batteries. They're they're pretty expensive, you know. Of course, this is a lot more of a hassle, and it, you know, it's not when you do this, it's not quite the same. It's bigger, and it won't fit quite right in some of their tools. But if you're careful, you know, they can work potentially better. You know, this is definitely an upgrade the way I look at it. And another thing I done because there's a lot of guys that have all the 18 volt tools and now there's you know the adapter to go from the 20 volt to the 18 volt but I took apart an old 18 volt pack that was no good and I again cut a big hole in the back of it and soldered on my own connection and this battery now fits absolutely perfect in here I can shove it right in there and it almost you know it almost fits completely in there without sticking out and this one uh, you don't have to hook up your balance port for it to work, it's just a direct connection. And you can hook it right up, and all your 18 volt tools will run off this. And I'll tell you what, this makes a big difference for the 18 volt tools. Uh, unlimited amperage compared to the stock battery. All the, gr the grinders and all the tools, and works great. And it's cheaper, cheaper than getting them rebuilt. Other than you have to watch your voltage, you can't over discharge it. I mean, you can if you just keep running it until it quits. You could over discharge this battery, but like I said, if I got this little voltage indicator, I could Velcro it on the side and plug this in, and it'll beep when it gets dead. So, thanks for watching.